Sometimes moms feel all alone when it comes oh. to the household load. Do we ever? <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> but our next guest says it doesn't have to be that way. Okay, Ellen? so here to tell us how we can integrate children into our household tasks and just create this teamwork culture within our family units. We have certified fair play facilitator, family coach, and also author of Our Home, Lori Sugarman Lee. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. So many of us need your advice for help, so let's get right into it. How do you reimagine chores as an act of love to get the whole family into this? Right, so let's acknowledge up front, this is a heavy load, mm -hmm. but if we all come together, right, and look at this work as what it is deep down, which is the stuff of gratitude mm. and approach it with a different kind of energy, it becomes less daunting. Yeah, okay. yeah. you're I grateful like. to be in this position at exactly. the house that needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> Your next uh, suggestion, empowering children through meaningful tasks. What do you mean mm -hmm. by that? Right, so the reality is, is that little kids especially, they wanna be involved in this kind of stuff. They just wanna be a part of important things. And if you understand how they thrive and where what their skills are, you can empower them to do things where they will succeed. And then mm -hmm. they have a stake in it and mm -hmm. they feel like a part of the success of your family. So for example, yeah. if you have a child who's a great organizer, involve him in unloading the groceries. If you have a child who loves music, have them vacuum with headphones on. Okay, all right, so right. fine. There strengths exactly. I know is one of the, the uh, uh, points that you want to make break free from gendered stereotypes so that's like we can all do everything well the reality is is that globally women carry 75% of this unpaid labor mm -hmm. women also have five fewer hours of leisure time per week and mm -hmm. I say women but this is actually measured in girls as young as eight and so the reason I really wanted to write wow. this book is to break this cycle for future generations and mm -hmm. show children all children that this is the work for everybody in our family yes okay so it's like not just the women are doing the laundry or the, the dishes cooking, or the cooking the, yeah. or everything in the household exactly. sometimes you know right okay. exactly yeah all right and then you say understanding the why behind tasks mm. Right, so it's not just an endless list of chores. Everything that we do around the house has great meaning. And so if you can explain this, especially to your kids, but to everyone in the family, then they suddenly understand the benefit, especially if it directly affects them. So what I like to say as an example is my 13-year-old. If I were to say to him, you have to change your sheets, he's probably gonna mm. groan. Yeah. But if I explain to him, hey, I'm not sure if you realize this, but sleeping on a clean pillowcase will facilitate clear skin. <laughs> ah. Suddenly he's yeah. bought in, the sheets are yeah. in the laundry room faster than you can blink, <laughs> and right. he understands the value and the meaning behind the tasks of home. Right, the why. Exactly. Um, I love that. I feel like there's no age too young to start. My daughter and I read your book. She loves the pictures and oh, just had questions about great. the pictures, even if all the text wasn't coming through yet. So oh, that's great. grab the thank book. You. Yes, thank you for writing it, for being here today. You can find Lori's book and also learn more about her mission and get us all involved. Uh, you just go to our home, ourpride.com. Thank Congrats. you again. Thank, Thank you. you.